Adam Sikora will begin this year with the Hartford Wolfpack, and he is one of the better Rangers prospects currently in the system, and definitely one of my more favorite prospects as well. This guy, he gives it his all every single shift, and I, I seriously suggest to you, if you're not going to watch a ton of Hartford Wolfpack games, go out this year and watch Team Slovakia play at the World Juniors and watch this guy play. He is a ton of fun to watch. He may only be 5'10", 172 pounds, but he plays with so much heart and effort and skill and two-way game. Like He is just an all-around great player. He's not necessarily elite in one category. I think he's just an all-around. Every aspect of his game is really solid. He's a smart player, good defensively, good offensively, has good instincts, has a good stick, can hit, can be physical. He's also got you know pretty good hands, good dekes good passer, good shooter. Like overall, he's just a great all-around hockey player. And I think that's something that the Rangers could definitely use in that middle six role. Now, who knows what he'll really be. I mean, maybe he does end up being a third, fourth line kind of guy. That's a possibility. It is. I mean, he has that kind of upside to be a second liner, I think. But if he ends up being a third, fourth liner who plays, you know, a PK role, being that kind of Tyler Mott almost type player with a bit more offense, that kind of thing, that is definitely a realistic possibility for a guy like Adam Sakura. Worst case scenario, he might end up being that fourth liner PK with a bit more offense than Tyler, Tyler Mott, but overall could be that kind of same type of player. Uh, definitely a guy who you want on your team when you're trying to win Stanley Cups and stuff, but he has the upside of being a second line player for sure. He could play really either wing as well, which is kind of nice. Left hand shot. Still only 18 years old, and that is the big thing with him is he was one of the youngest prospects in the 2022 draft when he was taken second round with the 63rd overall pick, so a very late second rounder, and he was projected to kind of go somewhere in the mid-second round kind of thing, maybe to mid to early second round, could have maybe fallen into the, you know, the top of the second, but getting him in the late second there was an absolute steal, I thought, and he really has proven it so far. He still doesn't even turn 19 until September 7th, so... He's a very, very young prospect still. This is not a guy who's you know going into like 20-year-old season now or anything like that. He is going into his age 19-year-old season, has already played multiple years in the top Slovakian uh, men's league over there. So obviously, he's playing some good competition. Like The Slovakian league obviously isn't as good as the Swedish league or the Finnish league or the Russian one by any means, but it still is a very solid league and definitely one of the, one of the more upper-tier leagues overall. Definitely a pretty solid league over there. So that's very nice there. He's born in Piestani, Slovakia. And, you know, like I said, he's just, he's still a very young prospect, still has a very high ceiling to go. And in the top Slovakian league last year with HK Nitra, he had 38 games played, eight goals, 13 assists, 21 points, eight penalty minutes, not bad at all. Was a plus minus was zero, so not terrible at all. Uh, playoffs though, he went eight games played there, one goal, three assists, four points, four penalty minutes, but looked pretty good overall there. And, you know, this is a guy who did play a decent amount better than the previous year. Um, in his draft year there with HK Nitra, the same exact team in the same you know top league there, had 46 games played. So had eight more games played, had two less goals, but had six more assists this year and had four more points overall. So he played a total of eight less games in the previous year and added on an extra four points. That is very good numbers there in the playoffs that previous year in his draft year had 19 games played, five points. This year had eight games played, four points. So overall, you can clearly tell he took a big step up in his game overall. And at the Royal Juniors, he hasn't produced quite as well offensively. Now, he hasn't really gotten that top-line power play time with them because, you know, Slovakia has had quite a good team the past couple of, you know, Royal Juniors and stuff. And this year, they could be a true force to actually medal this year. We definitely could see that. So, I'm sure he'll be in the top six again. Maybe we can see him on the top line. Who knows? But I'm sure he'll be in the top six, being a PK kind of guy as well. Probably won't get that first line power play, but I'm sure he'll go back on that second line power play like we saw the past uh, World Juniors there. And he's just a ton of fun to watch. I seriously, seriously suggest if you aren't going to watch a lot of Hartford Wolfpack games, trust me, you're going to want to watch this guy at the World Juniors. He's going to be a ton of fun to watch. And I had a lot of fun watching him last year at the World Juniors. He was buzzing around there, hitting guys. I did get kicked out of a game there for a knee on knee questionable whether it was on purpose or not but he, he's got that you know that fire in him he's got that buzz he, he loves competing for his country clearly he was definitely upset after he lost to team canada he gave it his all that that game there but unfortunately for his sake he they definitely lost but uh he's just a great all-around player and definitely a guy who we could see have a massive year with hartford wolfpack this year and he did play a couple games with hartford last season like i said after his um, slovakian season ended there 
He came over in the regular season, had two games played, no points, no penalty minutes. In the regular season, didn't look anything special, but obviously just acclimating to North American pro hockey. And then the playoffs, though, had four games played there, one assist, looked decent there. But overall, we definitely could see him, you know, going into his first full year of North American pro hockey, take a big step forward. And I think we could honestly see him get, like, let's say if he plays about 70 games played, because... I don't think he's going to be a call-up candidate. I think we have guys like Brendan Othman and Will Cooley and Brodzinski kind of thing who are definitely going to get called up over a guy like Adam Sikora. But I do think that if he plays about you know 70 or so games, which is pretty much about what Will Cooley played last year, Will Cooley last year had 69 games played, 45 points. I think we could see if Sikora plays about 70 games, we could see him get maybe 15 goals with like 20, 25 assists, you know, like 70 games played, about 40 points, 15 goals kind of thing. I definitely think that is a possibility. On the low end, maybe it's, you know, 70 games played, 10 goals, 25 assists for 35 points, 30 points, something around there. He's probably on the low end, but I definitely think we could see him take a big step up this year in his overall game, especially offensively, because we have seen that defensive game look quite good overall. And he could be on the second PK as well this year. I wouldn't be surprised if they give him that opportunity, because I definitely think he should get that opportunity because he's a guy with the NHL level one day, especially if he's not going to be a top six forward, if he's going to be like he's a really solid, you know, decent scoring two-way winger on that third line kind of role, which is definitely a possibility for a guy like Sakura. I think having him be a PK kind of guy is definitely a realistic possibility. He has had some PK experience and stuff you know, for Team Slovakia and over in uh, Slovakia as well. He has played on the PK a bit. I definitely think that is good for his development to get some time down there in the AHL, um, being on the PK there definitely could help his overall game. But my projections for him is going to be about, let's say if he plays 70 games played, I'm going to say 15 goals, like 22, 23 assists, something right around there is definitely a realistic possibility. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please smash the like button and definitely comment down below your guys' thoughts on Adam Sakura and what are your guys' projections and expectations for him going with his first full year of North American Pro Hockey.